Come have a sit down on the flow. Let's talk. I'm going to talk about money. going to keep on talking about money until I make my $3.341 million. Until my $3.341 million becomes $3.341 billion, et cetera, et cetera. Why? Because I can. Why? Because I believe I'm financially limitless. As I believe you are, whoever my listeners are, my watchers. I believe that God is everywhere at all times because God is in us as a collective as well as an individual. And if there was this big, great ending to this story, this dream, this game, whatever you call life, then he would collect all the thoughts, all the deeds, and we would be able to crack open our pineal gland and it would show all of that information. Whether you believe in more than one lifetime or however you believe, it just says that God is an individual as well as a collective. And I'm here to talk about money because I believe you are money. You are value. You are valid. And you may not think like nobody else or you may seem, seem as though you don't think like nobody else on this planet. I know that feeling. But we all have something in common. We're here. And we need money to regulate our temperature. We need money to buy food. We need money to buy gifts. We need money to show our worth, to put clothes on. And so when people start to diminish or downgrade the use or the need I believe they have missed the point of understanding or comprehending that we are the money, we are the talent. Without people, without human beings, there would be no need for money. There would be no planet. I've heard Kanye West say that we're not going to tear up the earth. We're not going to destroy the earth. The earth will let us destroy ourselves and then the earth will still be here. You know, that again, to me, that's the farthest extreme. But I don't even believe that because I know there are too many people that are praying and whether they know what God is, who God is, uh, God is definitely not a he in the sense of a man. If God is the creator, God would not be trying to destroy God's creation. I don't destroy that which I make unless I'm building something better. And again, at that point, it's not a destroy in this negative, evil, destructive kind of tantrum kind of way and so if you want to know who's in charge or who is responsible for this destructive attitude then look at the movies that you watch and then look at who wrote them it's as simple as that and then look at who plays in the movies these are, quote, hero's story. Hero, not shero. You know, we got something called murder she wrote. But again, who? Who is she? Don't get bit by the they bug. Don't get bit by the he bug or the she bug. There are people with names. Everybody here on the planet is required to have a name. 
There is no they. So when you're talking about someone, if we have a problem with someone, then we should address that person. I've gone through many systems in this world. And those systems are comprised of persons. Persons together make people. And then the people decide as a whole, as a one. And that's why you have he in the middle of they. And that's why you have T-Y on the outsides, the outskirts of he. The thank you to he. So be mindful of words and letters and the combinations because that, that was my breakthrough. That's my come up in my value. That's what I realized, my name. It means value, it means worth, it means health. My middle name means messenger, a line of messengers. My last name means peace, means son of God's peace. My mother's name is Joy or Joyce. My father's name is Worth L, Worth God. We are financially limitless. Find out what your name means. Find out where the stars were aligned when you came to the planet. We can stop complaining about what they didn't teach us. You learned your alphabet. This is what I learned earlier today. The, the Bible says, Jesus said that I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. When I looked up omega, we get with me in the middle of omega. I looked up the word omega today and we seem to understand that alpha male is, you know, the ish, the the, the man, you know, the leader. You know, then I learned something about sigma, meaning supposedly like an alpha, but doesn't need to be the, quote, center of attention. As if alpha means negative, you know, being in the center of attention is a bad thing. It's not. But omega is as, uh, as far from the word alpha in Greek or in the, in the definition that I understood. And if I didn't have, please have a seat if I did not pat you in. But the word omega actually is the least. And this is what Jesus showed us in his example by his service of washing feet. And we're not talking about some pedicure that somebody got after they've already taken a bath. We're talking about dusty, crusty feet. So if you don't, you know, who do we see washing feet? And if you took some dusty Jesus feet to the spa, are they going to service you? You know, I don't know. Some might, some may not. But growing up in church, when they did communion on Sunday nights, they also did feet washing. Where did that go? See, we have to decide to make rules or enforce rules for ourselves. I've limited myself because I didn't have a piece of paper to say I have the right to touch your feet or to touch your body or massage. And then someone let me know. They said, well, you know, as a spiritual person, you know, as an ordained minister, those things can fall under the category of laying on of hands. I said, okay, you know, there, there is my way out. There is my way of escape. So there's always a way through or around or over or under. That being said, if you would like my services, please feel free to contact me. But for right now, my words, they are life. They are spirit because they're coming from breath. They're coming from knowledge. 
the arrangement of the alphabet, the arrangement or the rearrangement of characters, letters that form sentences and paragraphs and stories. No one's stopping you when you go home from telling your children or your grandmother or your grandfather or your friends. No one is stopping you from telling them how to read and write. No one is stopping you from writing your own story. Your worst handwriting or your worst sentence structure is still better than somebody else's story, somebody else's lie, someone else's repetition. The only way history is repeating itself is that we're talking about it. We keep reminding ourselves. We, we've got enough of what it was. It's, it's pretty ingrained now what it was. And that's why black folk used to say what it is. Because they knew God is ever present. Not what it was, what it is. So I'm here to invite you to talk about what it is. Not just it is what it is. What is it? In the wilderness, they were fed manna. Some believe there was magic mushrooms. Some people believe it was mushrooms in the Garden of Eden that they were forbidden not to take. Few people talk about the fact that the scripture says after they ate of it, then God said, they have become like, behold, look, they've become as one of us, beholding good and evil. So that wasn't a lie. But I don't believe the Bible is there as simply a story or his story. It is there for us to look for those highlights and inconsistencies not to blame God the devil the serpent Adam or Eve or anything else look at the story and see what other people missed read it for yourself to see that one version says God made the heaven and the earth another version says the heavens and the earth so did he make one heaven or more than one makes a difference and these are the things I would guide people back to look for themselves whether it's the Bible which again is most important because it is the most popular it is the most talked about it is what people have built their lives on and around it is what people laid their hands on to swear or affirm in the court of law so it is very important for us to know what it is we're laying our hands on and what it is that we are affirming to. And if we can't get the first verse correct, there's no need to go into chapter 5, 17, 34, Nahum, Matthew. No need to go all down that road. So you don't have to, quote, believe in God or not believe in God. What you do need to believe in from the beginning is that there's a lot of pieces missing that are right there in front of your face if you go ahead and crack it open for yourself. So then you realize there is a God. Because it'll open up your understanding that God will wait until we do things for ourselves so that there is a conviction, there is a strength, there is a value in reading and writing and adding and subtracting for ourselves. I had teachers that would say things like, you know, don't wear a t-shirt, you know, in grade school. Don't wear a t-shirt or a shirt that you don't know how to read. What does that shirt say? What does it mean? As kids growing up, 
and we were talking about somebody. We tell them, spell it. You know, you stupid, spell it. If you don't know how to spell it, if you don't know what you're talking about, move it along. And so I believe that is the greatest, the grossest, the gravest mistake known to man is pluralizing something in one version, making it singular in another version, and acting like that doesn't even matter. You got one child or you got more than one child. It matters. If you didn't matter, if your self-esteem is so low, if your body, if your mind, if your blood was so useless or worthless, why do they need your time and date when you were born? Why do they weigh you? It ain't just to announce it to somebody. And even then, why are they announcing it? Because a star is born, a child is born, a son is given, a daughter is given. And it has done women a big injustice, females a big injustice, because we haven't been told or we did not understand or we were not taught that son is not a gender when it comes to God. We are not a lesser light. All right. Let the next person sit down. Share, like, subscribe. Talk about it. Think about it. Go open your Bible and see if you got more than one version and see the differences. Every word is different. Even when it's a synonym. So find out what the difference is. Find out what your talent is and share that and do that and be that to the best of your ability. Talk to you later.